hello everyone welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be explaining that how to fix bluetooth not showing in the device manager of windows 10 and windows 11. so many times you're not able to use the bluetooth option and in order to troubleshoot when you make a right click on the windows icon then click on device manager so you find that the bluetooth option is missing in the device manager as well all right so i will be sharing few effective solutions that you need to apply one by one and i'm very sure that your problem will be fixed so the very first thing in the device manager what you will have to do from the top menu option click on view and then click on show hidden devices so many times these devices get hidden automatically and by just clicking on show hidden devices these options can get back but if this doesn't work then click anywhere then from the top menu option click on action and then click on scan for hardware changes you can again check back if the bluetooth option is back or not but in case if this doesn't fix then you can close it now next click on your windows search type cmd right click on it and choose run as admin then click on yes the black window will be up now here you have to run dism and the sepsi scan and both these command you will be getting in the description so you can copy and paste so the first command will be dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health so you can just copy and make a right click and it will be automatically pasted then hit the enter key now this will be scanning and it will take some time so what we can do we can minimize it and then you have to click on your windows search type services click on services app and in the services you have to look for some kind of bluetooth service and make sure that they are running so scroll down a bit and the very first one that you will find will be bluetooth audio gateway service so make a double click on it and make sure the startup type has been selected to automatic and the status is running so if it's been selected to manual or automatic delayed start then you have to choose to automatic and if it's been stopped then you have to start the service then click on apply click on ok do the same with the other bluetooth service like bluetooth support service bluetooth user service make a double click and assure that the startup type is set to automatic and the status is running once you are done you can close it now open up the command prompt and we can see the command is still running in the background so what we can do again we can minimize it now meanwhile it's scanning what we can do if you need the bluetooth option just for sending or receiving any kind of file so for that what you can do click on your file explorer then from the left hand menu option click on this pc then click on local disk c then look for windows double click on it then you have to look for system 32 double click on it now in the system 32 at the right hand top you will find search system 32 click on the box and type fsquirt and in the suggestion you will be getting fsquirt.exe make a right click on it click on show more options hover up to send to then click on desktop create shortcut now you can close it and now if you look on your desktop you will find the bluetooth icon has been created and if you make a double click on it so from here you can send or receive any kind of file using the bluetooth but if you need the bluetooth for any other purposes like adding any kind of hardware devices then for that bring up the command prompt again and once this command will be completed we will have to run another command that will be sfc space forward slash scan now again hit the enter key now again this will take some time so i wait until this command is completed and once it's been 100% completed you will have to restart the computer and check back again if the problem has been fixed but if this also doesn't work for you so in the next method what you will have to do open any kind of browser and in the google search you have to type intel bluetooth driver then you have to hit the enter key then click on the first link of intel and here you have to click on the first link download for windows 10 and 11 so this will be working for both the operating system so you can click on it and the downloading will be started 
once it's been downloaded click on the downloaded file click on yes click on next click on next again and the installation will now be started and once it get installed then you have to click on finish again make a right click on the windows icon then click on device manager and check back if the problem has been fixed and you got your bluetooth option back or not so on my end you can see that i am still not able to find the bluetooth option so the last method is very effective where we will have to power flash the computer so for that what you will have to do you have to remove all kind of cable like power cable any kind of usb device like mouse keyboard so you will have to remove everything from your pc and once it's been removed you need to press and hold the power button for 25 to 30 seconds and after that reconnect all the devices plug in your power adapter and then again try to start the computer then check back if the problem has been fixed and majority of the time if none of the solution work this solution will surely work for you so that's all guys for today hopefully this all solution will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and still if you have any issues let me know in the comment section and also let us know that which method work for you and i see you in the next video bye bye